Hello, this is a review of the Kilowatt Easy P4460. This is an excellent little device that will tell you how much power any of your devices are using. Uh, that's in terms of watts or amps and tell you the projected costs per hour, per day, per week, per month and per year over time. And you can find out the immediate usage of any device that's currently plugged in right here and right now. Or you can leave them plugged in and detect the actual cost to you and the average usage in terms of power and cost over time. Now the, with this particular model, the P44660, this one has a memory that if you plug it in and take it out and put in another outlet or loses power, it'll remember where it left off in the power usage. That's the difference in this model compared to the P4400 uh, that was slightly cheaper. So what do you need to do to use the device? You just need any electrical outlet like you see here. So all you have to do is go ahead and plug it on in and now you're off and running. You can just plug any device that you want to test right on in and you can see with the current electricity that it's using. Now one of the things you might notice right away is that the screen is dim from this particular angle. So the light comes in here and I find it a little harder to read. So you find yourself bending trying to see the screen from different angles and you may have different success depending on the lighting in your room. You might also think, gee, I don't actually have a whole outlet open that I want to remove everything from. Um, let's say you have a whole power strip with a whole bunch of things that you just want to start testing that might be under a desk or by an entertainment center. Well, there's a solution for all of that. Um, some people have commented that, gee, I really wish there was a extension adapter that can plug this into individual outlets over there. Well, there is a cheap solution for this very same problem that makes this an awesome little device. It's a power strip. You can build your own extension very easily by just taking the power strip, plug in, plug it into there, and now you've built your own little extension to take anywhere that you want. So you can go remove, remove something that's plugged in here, plug it in, plug the device that was in right here, and you can tilt the screen to see based on different lighting and it works really well. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And you can notice that I can tilt the screen to better lighting angles. I can see the current voltage in my house is currently 122.5. Um, you can cycle through immediately. Let's say I want to go set it to my current electricity rate. So I use enough electricity that I'm always in the fourth tier of my electricity rate and my electric bill says that's 34 cents, 0.1, per, per kilowatt hour. So I type that in here and now I figure I'm trying to reduce from my top tier down to my third tier so everything I can save is what costs me currently 34 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So you want to go ahead and just hold the set button, do up down until you got the right number and you're off on your own utility rate. I believe it assumes 25 cents per kilowatt hour as its, its average. But um, this works really great and you might say, well gee, I know I can still bend it to my will to go see where I, wherever I want and you say, well what if I'm crawling around under a desk? Well there's a very easy solution to that. It's a flashlight. I've actually crawled under my, my computer desk. You can shine it in and it just lights up the screen for you. Some people commented that they really wished it was a backlit display, but honestly, um, this is an excellent little device using a flashlight. Um, sure helps as well. So how do you use it? So let's say you want to go test something. So let's look at an example. What if I wanted to test this portable space heater to go see, you know, like, gee, I, I wish I knew whether the high or low setting, how much difference do they actually cost me to use? You know, am I actually saving half the cost by setting it from one versus the other? So let's look at this example. So I will take, take the actual power outlet, plug it on in, plugged on in and I'm off and running. Um, but I didn't haven't turned it on yet. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn it on first, then immediately reset the switch. So see the reset button here? Hold the reset until it resets. And what I've done is I got it to ignore the memory from whatever was plugged in before because it's continually averaging. So I can see my current voltage is 112.5. My amps being used by the device right now is 906 and, and falling. With space heaters, they cycle. So if I sat here and watched this long enough, I would see it bottom out and then, then peak back up. 
the wattage currently being used on the low setting is 984 and dropping and I'll see this peak um, hit a valley and then run back up as well. And there's other numbers that I don't really pay much attention to that don't seem to have much use to me. I'm really looking at the number of amps and wattage. But then you hit the menu button such as over here and we get some other settings. So what this is first telling me right now is since this device has been plugged in ever since I hit the, the reset button this is the actual cost that it has cost me to run this device during this time. Well obviously I just hit the reset button it's going to take a little time to even reg register as a penny. But I'm going to go ahead and hit the up button to cycle through some other interesting. So at the current electricity usage if it assumes at a constant rate if I left this thing plugged in for the full hour it's going to cost me 33 cents for this hour at my particular rate. If I left it in for the entire day, that is 24 hours, it's going to cost me $8 per week, $56 for a week to leave this on all the time at the current usage rate per month, per year. So again, we see we get hour, day, week, month, year, and then a grand total of since it's been running. And I can cycle through some more choices in the menu. So we already know my rate, but here I've currently consumed 0.02 kilowatt hours since the devices have been plugged in. It, oh, it just went up. So the, it gives you a running total of the actual kilowatt hours that have been used since I last hit the reset button. And I can see that it's been two minutes since then. Now I've timed things for longer, so the idea is, is you can actually leave, leave your devices plugged in for longer amounts of times if they cycle. Like the space heater, realistically, I am not going to leave it plugged in 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year. Uh, that's just unrealistic. So you might have devices that cycle on and off that it's interesting to know the actual cost of when I have it on low versus high. It's just an interesting facts. Similar analogies are a computer in sleep mode versus being powered off versus being on and being used with a CD drive run. And you have all sorts of different configurations that you could set you to the device to whatever mode you want to test, hold the reset button, and then cycle through to go see what's currently being used for those different devices. And so it works out really well, but then you'll want to leave it on longer to get a realistic expectation. Um, I like to turn devices, the first thing I do is leave devices off. So let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and turn it completely off, hold the reset button. Now it's reset. And the first thing I'm looking for is there are any electricity leaking. So zero amps, zero watts, this thing is dead as a doornail being off. So I'm not worried about any vampire electronics uh, eating energy just by being plugged in on this one. So I found different success on printers. I found uh, when the printer was powered completely off it was zero and when it was in sleep mode it was 3.5 watts and and so on. But I'm looking for bigger things in my house to see what they are. Uh, I found my coffee maker takes six watts when being off um, I found a pair of computer speakers uses 6 watts whether they're on or off. It made absolutely no difference in electricity usage in my computer speakers because they were about 20 years old in how much electricity they used. So I just uh, put them on a toggle switch. So I can go around my house and buy different toggle switches and power strips as well to help with that. So this device has been great for me to weed out how much things cost. Um, I have left it on a device for you know, a few weeks like my water distiller because it runs only sporadically here and there but takes a ton of electricity when it's used. Um, and I've been able to, you can calculate up to, uh, should, you should be able to run for a, a while. I've run it up to 99 hours. Um, I had it reset on me once it hit about 99 hours so I thought it might roll over but then after that it, it was able to run longer. But I love the device. It really is a key device to root out how much things are costing you. I highly recommend just slapping on a power strip and it gives you a ton of flexibility. Thank you for watching the review.